Welcome to Stavi's World, everybody. Beautiful fucking day here. We got my fucking man. My fucking ace, Danny Sodes, in the fucking building. Uh, so happy to have you here in the fucking studio. This feels like something I should do to, on a very Greek set. <laughs> my friend Stavros, you're beautiful. It's good to be back in Astoria where the only place that they're racist against other brown-haired whites. <laughs> yeah, oh, even absolutely. Even though they have dark hair and they're dude, whites. Eldis is Albanian. Oh, yeah, shout yeah, out, yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah. By the way, my biggest joke I've ever had, stand like the joke that got me Conan or whatever was about Russians being the scariest white people. In reality, that was about Albania. <laughs> that's, a, that's a little behind the music for it. Wow, you hear I that, was, motherfuckers? I was in the Bronx, and I was leaving the hospital, mm -hmm. and these fucking dudes... These dudes in fucking NASCAR jackets. <laughs> that was when, you know, dudes in the hood were wearing black NASCAR jackets? Yes, absolutely. Uh, like the M&M's one. Which is yeah, crazy yeah. to be to fear getting stomped out by guys wearing Skittles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fucking Oreo and Absol Pennzoil. The peanut M&M's was the big yeah, one. That was the one. Yeah, 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 was yeah, it? it was yeah, the yellow. Yeah, yeah. And I, it wasn't Pennzoil. I was like, yeah, it was yeah, peanut yeah, M&M's yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. the, the blue Oreo is what yes, I remember. Yes, yes, But yeah, I went like, no problem. Go to train. And later I... I like wrote the joke or whatever, but my friend's mom that like lived up there, she was like, oh, she's like old black lady. She goes, oh, they thought you were Albanian. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Yeah, the Albanians, they definitely, we've, you know, this is, we, we've talked about it. Al, me and Al have been friends since we were literally in kindergarten. Yeah, I just looked at the picture. You yeah, guys have we, an adorable. We have, we have our second grade picture. Maybe we'll put that, that on the grade? fucking Patreon, Woo, motherfuckers. You see hot kids go to their <laughs> Patreon. May, yeah, you get to see, honestly, Eldest Crush is that picture. He's got the Ace Ventura on. He's fucking got this goofy ass look on his All face. Right, my it. mom made me dress up. Yeah, and I mom, was pissed. Oh, dude, one time my mom didn't know it was picture day and I wore my Simpsons shirt. Hell yeah, dude. Legendary. And it came back. My hair was all yeah. like matted because <laughs> yeah, I had slept yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Dude, my mom, she called Life Touch. Wow. She's like, are you doing redos? <laughs> this is unacceptable. Because my mom, my mom, that's like, uh, when you're a single mom, your kid's all photo you back in the, the day photo. before the phone, school picture was all like. All you have is the photo. It's big. It's on Fuck. your desk at work. It's yes, everything. Yes, yes. It's, it's your profile pic. They see little tweaked out Dan with his hair all fucked with up. With Homer strangling Home, Bart. Homer strangling <laughs> Bart. Was, Totino's was, debris all over dude, his fucking was, his it hair. Was the, it was like a or, it was like a pinkish orange shirt, <laughs> and the frame was like off, and it was Homer choking Bart in the family photo. And I was like, "This is heat." <laughs> That's a I banger. Gotta see if I can find that photo. Oh, uh, we need that. I just one. remember my mom being so pissed because she wanted me in a nice. Of course, dude. She wanted, she wanted like you a, with the little sweater, golf shirt. Yeah, golf shirt. Hair Look it fuck. up when those lasers are blasting yeah. behind me. <laughs> to show the fucking the other whores so in accounting. you were dressed up and you were just... He had it. He, ma, his mom probably didn't know. Because his mom was... he would ha Your mom would have you looking nice, too, if she knew. Yeah, I think so. I don't, th I don't know, like... I don't know if they were even, like, that big on the family photos. I feel like we probably... On the school photos, I feel like we probably didn't buy a lot of those or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I got the pressing, man, because my mom was like, I'm sending this. She sent it to, like, my dad. Yeah. You know, <laughs> like, look who's doing it. Yeah. <laughs> Can't keep me down, Gary. <laughs> but they, uh, it was, that was, like, a big deal. Oh, my God. In absolutely. the 90s. My mom gave a, really gave a fuck about those. We have a lot of those running around. Did and you I, senior photos? Oh, yeah. My senior photo is a fucking banger. All right, now, here's the thing. You guys I are, have, you guys I are East like Coast kids. East Coast. Are you guys tuxedos inside? Yes, sir. That's always tuxedos, what it is. Tuxedos, West dude. Coast kids. We're out in nature. Oh, wow. A little dressed up, but just letting you know that sure. we're, we're connected still. Sure, sure, sure. Mine was like... In the mountains, up in... Where you, didn't I, you... You grew up in the town where the fucking... The Joker shot up everybody, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The original the Joker. The actual Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah James, James Harris yeah. shot the Aurora Mall up. Wasn't he home? Wasn't it James Holmes? Oh. James Holmes, was it? Yeah, yeah, Aurora. You're from Aurora. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was yeah, the Aurora yeah. Mall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have a joke about that. My yeah, mom yeah, still yeah. tries to get me to go. <laughs> <laughs> she's like still like she's she keeps trying to sell it yeah like it's all old haunted house i love it listen and look we're gonna fight this is great we're, we even jumped right in this is the kind of shit we're gonna and listen me and danny boy here we're gonna get to your fucking problems oh, but and we're gonna call 904 the the number is eldest is flashing it on the screen right now 904 800 stav 
We'll answer your That's shit. Pretty awesome, you got Stav. Is it Stav good? Yeah. yeah, I had to go a Jacksonville area code for it, but fuck That's it. Fine. We'll and the eight hundred's cool too. Duval. <laughs> yeah, no, they just get a little Duval yeah. on here. <laughs> <laughs> They'll fucking make you pop when you see that number. He's like nine oh four. Yeah, uh, we're about to be. Yeah, we should get a little Duval here before we get too off topic, though. No, no, no I just want to say we're going back into us fucking around. We fuck around for a while. We okay. get to we get to your shit because that's everyone we have on here has a fucked up weird life. Yeah, and no, so, no one gets out unscathed. And so we're getting into we want to hear about fucking we want to hear about fucking you know getting harassed. This isn't as about a child. Me, this is I was saying we were all talking about your guys' second grade picture. Please. And this is I don't know if this is a bad thought. You might have to edit this no, completely out of the podcast. Yeah, 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 yeah. But would it they're kind of hot, aren't they? You see those pictures, don't you get hard? Well here's my thing. <laughs> this is my thought. Oh no. <laughs> Is it child porn <laughs> if you take naked photos of yourself oh, when you're like seven yeah. and then you you let them bake until you're right, 37 right. and you're like, look at this naked boy. That, but it's you. It I think legally it is. Legally because it is child people, porn. People have gotten, I, I, my friends of mine in Maryland, they had a friend who was sexting and he <laughs> and he sent, a pic, he sent a picture of his dick that he took when he was 16 and he was 18 at the time. And like, first of all, hilarious to reuse. You yeah. didn't go through a growth spurt? Yeah, <laughs> those two, yeah, those are big two years. She goes, so it stopped at 16. <laughs> so, so anyway, he used a picture of his dick. And then like the girl's parents found it. And he had pictures of her. And she was like 17 or something. So he got in trouble for his own child porn. And child porn from a girl he was consensually sexting because no. she I think she might have sent old pictures. No. It was like this this whole That's fucked the up whole thing. thing. That was the whole joke I was yeah. thinking about. Is you just send your boy a picture of you naked in the tub at seven, and you're like, you have child porn on your phone. Yeah. <laughs> she's probably, she's probably take me to the airport. I'm my, just guessing. My family had a picture like that growing up. Like I used to, I used to be afraid to like walk in the basement to pee when I was a kid. So I'd pee in this jar we kept on the <laughs> nightstand. <laughs> Dude, one time, one Albanian, time. real Albanian <laughs> shit right there. Yeah, that's, that's how you. That's their elf on the shelf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How is that? If the pee. urine's too brown, yeah, you're yeah. being a bad boy. You get no <laughs> presents. One time, one time I was peeing in this thing, and I don't remember like who, what, like one of my parents fucking took a picture of it. <laughs> And they just like kept it in like a family photo album yeah. for years. So family friends would come over. One time I had this family friend over when I was like in elementary school. She was looking through books. She was like, I saw you pee. That's I was like, crazy. what the fuck? That's also like this not even. like my dick hanging over the lip of this fucking jar well, pissing. So did they have to use like a magnifying <laughs> no, glass no. to see it? It was a normal camera, not a high powered magnification or camera. Or your parents have known the thought that I had before and they're playing chess. And they're right. like, we just just incriminated you. Right, 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 right. That was right. piss porn. That was, that was child yeah, piss It's porn. not just child porn. It's You're child water piss sports porn. Yeah. and pedophilia? <laughs> I love that. That is funny because we definitely had like picture. There's a famous picture. You've seen, have you seen the watermelon picture with me, Nick, and George? Me and my brothers have this. When we were, I was like three and they were like, or maybe I was four and they were two. Yeah. And we have pictures for whatever reason of us naked holding hands, all like riding a watermelon. <laughs> we're like, we're your own watermelons? I think there were two watermelons, or maybe there was one, and we took turns, but just straight. And it was like our family loved it because it was like, why were they doing this? It's yeah, so funny. Yeah. They took, they happened because it's like there's no camera phones. They happened to have a camera out and captured this weird moment of yeah, their like toddlers rubbing your, rubbing your gooch on a fucking watermelon, <laughs> which we definitely all ate at. That's another yeah. hilarious thing. Everyone's just like for dessert later is just yeah, having. We ate that watermelon. <laughs> oh, but, but yeah, it's like this thing they would just have as a cute. As a cute thing, and it's like, yeah, that really is just kind of strange to be showing showing off a picture of your yeah. your children's penises. Yeah, and they would show it well into like when we we're like teenagers and shit. And I bet it's back around now. Oh yeah, now you're all grown. They're like, you guys want to see a fun? Oh photo? yeah, yeah, yeah. But it is. Yeah, that's on the that's not on the Patreon. We don't want to get technically <laughs> child pornography. Well, but you're that's the photo everyone wants to see. You guys in second grade, I've seen it. It's nice. <laughs> Watermelon dog. The watermelon Let's and go. eldest pissing in a fucking Campbell's soup uh, tin. Yeah. yeah, dude, I love it. I love your fucking Dust Bowl generation before indoor indoor plumbing. Oh, they were foreigners. Like we were foreign and poor, but it, like eldest was just one step under us because yeah. they were more recent. Uh, immigrants. That's so funny. We, we, my family had like 10 years on his and he was like, they were living Ellis Island. So his grandma like sleep, her room was a hallway. Yeah. <laughs> she had like a Her cot. bed was in the living room. <laughs> <laughs> really? Like right, right next to the TV. 
It she was like, you watch TV and then you're like, shut up, Nana. <laughs> <laughs> she would just sleep through the TV. We'd be in, me and my sister would be in there late at night watching, just like kind of whispering, like grandma would just be sleeping through that shit. Have you lived alone yet? Like completely alone. I haven't roommates. lived completely. He will never leave alone, alone because never. we were roommates, and that, and then he moved in with his girl. He'll never do it. Damn. Because I wonder if you ever lived alone, if you'd have to sleep on the floor like Hanks and Castaway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you're just so used to being with other people that you're like. Tch, 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 tch. Yeah, dude. I don't. This is the first time I've lived alone, and it is weird because I grew up a similar way, where it was like grandma had the you know had the like room next to mine yeah me and my brother shared a room for years and then they, i got one because i was the oldest one my brothers had to sleep they had they shared a room until they went to college Damn. and like i shared a room with them until i was like 13 and it was like we live and it's like and my parents were downstairs their bedroom was just like they just extended the they just cut like the living room in half and yeah. that was their bedroom and it was just like and then our cousin lived with us for a few years did she, you ever do you feel like Kevin McAllister in Home Alone when the family leaves him? When it's, you go outside honestly, and go, hello? I'm a little uneasy sometimes still. Buzz? Yeah, like, I had a roommate. Like, we were talking earlier. We were, we had some fucking gyros. We were fucking having some yeah, Greek dude. food. I came to Astoria, and the best one of the best food experiences of my life was that I lived in Astoria for 17 years. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But the first time you took me, I've been living here a long time, you took me to BZ Grill yes. and just spoke in that mystic tongue <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 and I they brought good. food that was so fresh yeah it was so good oh my god we got so good, good. We, get, we got we got great fucking service yeah we got uh, great service i went back the next time and it was not as good no but i was so it is a little honestly like i had a roommate up until really recently Damn. and the only reason i actually i actually don't have one anymore really is because like we needed the master bedroom for the studio <laughs> so it was like it was kind of like you hear that motherfuckers i'm i'm growing as a person for you yeah okay this I'm, is this, also my old bedroom this is eldest where i lived with my girlfriend <laughs> yeah. for like a year and a half <laughs> so fucking funny you've eldest, had fights in this bedroom yeah eldest, and then it just cuts to now and it's like this picture of you naked child porn. <laughs> this is the exact spot eldest used to get his dick sucked that's we're crazy sitting, we're, and then you guys were just painting this mural yeah, we oh, got my we got my sister in law to do that. She's a really, really? good artist. Yeah, Dude, yeah, here's the thing about Stavros that everyone needs to know: he hires all in house. <laughs> it's, it's true. The most Greek thing <laughs> I've ever seen. He runs his comedy career like a diner. It's a hundred percent. Everyone's like, Eldest doesn't know shit is, about yeah. producing. Yeah. Yeah. You think those ladies? Yeah, that do, fucking, you, you think any of these diner waitresses know how to properly cook a lobster? <laughs> <laughs> you think anybody knows that? Yeah, absolutely. I just had such a stoner moment, and I forgot the fucking diner that uh, Neptune. Neptune, Neptune, Neptune. I couldn't remember Neptune Diner. Neptune. Man, I got a layer of resin around my brain. Shout out to Neptune. Nah, it's all right, dude. What are you going to do? Dude, I've missed Neptune. It, it's not closing, right? No, but honestly, I do feel like it has dipped a little bit personally. It used to be. Yeah. The spot. The spot was good. It's also, you were broke. You know what I mean? Oh, Joe List Certain and I would go, we would do this Monday night show where I would bark and Joe List would host, mm -hmm. and it would start at like eight and go till two in the morning. Damn. And I had to bark from like eight to ten. That yeah, was the yeah, rule. Yeah. So at ten o'clock, but one of the waitresses would just feed us whiskey, oh. and we drink beers. And, and uh, so at the Comedy Village, and then we would get fucked up and come back to Astoria because <laughs> we both lived in Astoria. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we'd go to Neptune and just had enough money for chicken and rice <laughs> with crackers. <laughs> These what a poverty motherfuckers meal! Motherfuckers hated us, of course, because we were loud, loud, we were fucked up, we were getting soup. They wanted to sleep through. They just wanted to sleep through that fucking shift. Hey, it was like two thirty in the morning yeah. on a Monday. Yeah, and dude. I will never forget the hardest I've ever laughed is we smoked weed right before we walked in and I was I was real fucked up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both and, in your prime as alcoholics. Yeah. yeah. Like you're and, both sober now, but back then and the guys, real, the guys real train wrecks. Slid a side plate of lemons out of nowhere, slid a slide plate of lemons onto the table, and list is just so red eyed, and he goes, Ah, oh, he's trying new stuff. <laughs> and I was like, Dude, I, that gripped me in a way that I was like, I don't know why I find that so. It was just the timing, everything. That was the hardest one of the hardest you, I've ever laughed. I'm trying to remember, were you, it was, was you and Joe taking a, a train ride, and somehow, didn't somebody like end up in like fucking Coney yeah, Island or dude. something? Was that you? Yeah, it was me and List. <laughs> It wasn't me that ended up. I got oh, off okay. the train. Okay. We were at Astoria Boulevard. Okay. And List li used to live off Dittmar's. Okay. Used to live off Dittmar's in like 41st. So it's the second to last stop and the last stop. On, yeah. On I'm the on the train. second to last stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like a Monday night. Yeah. Banged up. So you get through these shows. Of course. And we're like talking. And I'm like, all right. And we're like, by the end of the train, we're both like 
doing this. Of course. Like, hey, I've fallen right. asleep on a train plenty of times. Me too. I've yeah. woken up in That's the Bronx. The saving woke- grace of Astoria is typically you shake awake and when it's the it last stop. And it's like, all right, it's a 20 minute walk instead of a 10 minute walk. No big deal. No big deal. Yeah. Uh, so you so, get off on Astoria. Astoria Boulevard hits. And, and you like, bid yeah. Joe farewell. And he's go, got one like, more stop. I'm like, all right, later, buddy. Yeah. And uh, I wake up to piss at 6 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> and I it's an old flip phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I flip my phone open and it's list. And he's like, holy shit. I woke up in Brooklyn. <laughs> and he goes, I got on. And then I got on the D train. Yeah. And I fell asleep again and woke up in the Bronx. <laughs> <laughs> and then he had to take the Coney floor. Island to he the did. fucking Bronx. So he did Astoria all the way through Manhattan, <laughs> all the way through Brooklyn, Coney Island. And he told me the story. He said what woke him up were seagulls. <laughs> and he just heard seagulls. He just heard seagulls. He, he was, was like, a stop from he, his home. He, he, was, he was a stop away. He really is. It's like the Odyssey. Yeah. It's like when they open the bag of wind. He, he, fucking, he was there. Thank he, you, by the way. Very appropriate reference. He, uh, he woke up and he was like, I fucking just heard seagulls. It's like, Kah! And then he was like, oh, fuck. Incredible, dude. dude. You one guys the, are some real fucking drunks, yeah, man. dude. One of the worst ones I had was I drank... Uh, with the staff of Caroline's after a show that I was opening for and everyone was at Playwrights and we were all like Yeah, right, getting right around up. the corner there. And I had, I had a, a huge crush on one of the waitresses and we were like smoking a cigarette and I think she was pretty drunk too and she was like, something about kissing me and I was like, what? And then we ended up making out and I was like, it's happening. Hell yeah. It is happening. And she's like, want to walk me home? And I'm like, yes. Fuck yes. I walked her, this is the most I've ever been finessed. Yeah, oh man. I walked from 49th Street in Broadway. Sure. Right in Times Square. To Wall Street. Oh, my God, <laughs> dude. What? Every time we would stop, and I'd be like, let me get a cab. I had no money. But I was like, let me get a cab. And she would, like, kiss me. And be like, let's keep walking. I like walking. We got to her house, and she's like, all right, well, I got to go get my dog and walk it. But thanks for walking me what? home. What? And I was like, no. What? Oh, crazy. Uh, and I was pretty drunk. Yeah, and I was yeah, just yeah. at that thing where I was like, ah, no. And I got on the four train. And fell asleep and woke up. Just hard, by the way. Hard. Dick hard. <laughs> deep fucking, into Bronx. Just <laughs> deep into the Bronx. Dreaming about her sucking your dick. Deep and you're into like, the Bronx. Oh, dude, and then Jesus I woke, and Marrow? <laughs> <laughs> dude, I remember being like, what stop am I at? And it was like. You must take the six or what? Were you four. trying to take the four? The I was, four. Gonna, I was so trying the to take the four yeah, yeah. up to 59th. Up to 59th coat. And then go over. Real New York shit, you yeah. motherfuckers. What are you kidding me? You can steal City Hall. <laughs> uh, and I fell asleep and woke up. And then I remember getting on the train back to go to 59th Street. And it was everyone in their work clothes <laughs> going to work. Because it was like a Thursday night show. And... Uh, I'm just like there, like I can, I know my breath smells like shit and I'm just like sitting there and I rode the train home and I was, I was, I was such an L Yeah. Oh and I God. remembered that I had the 30 for 30 June 17th, 1994 DVR'd. Nice dude. And I sat in the living room drinking an Arizona green tea, <laughs> smoking a cigarette. At like and 7 a.m. And Vecchione came out of his bedroom and he's like, what are you doing smoking inside? <laughs> if he ever saw that, he knew some shit. Yeah, yeah, it. And yeah. I was like, oh, you took... Two hard L's back to back. Back to back. 50 blocks drunk as shit to not get More than 50 blocks. What are we talking? Oh, yeah, because you had to cross the city. I would really like to know what that distance is. My feet hurt. It's probably like 70 blocks, dude. My feet hurt. By the way, (laughs) uh, years later at a Caroline's Christmas party, I like busted her balls about it. And she was very funny about it. She's like, I'm sorry. That was fucked up. Yeah, (laughs) "Yeah, it was crazy. Yeah, thank you. A little closure. But, dude, that's how much you could puppy dog me back in the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, listen, we've all been there. We've all I had a very, I kind of the opposite thing happen where it's like I am I'm in Greece with my boy, right? We're we're on this island um Eos and it's like a fucking party island, right? Yeah. And me and my guy are not, we're not really like party boys like that. It's all a bunch of like drunk Australians who are like, "Oh, let's get fucked up." You know uh, what I mean? Do like they come in hot Dude, hot as fuck. Do like, they come in and they're like, oh, I like three things. I like party in here. Yeah, yeah. I like take all your women. Yeah, that's 100%. The shit, that's the shit that I like to say that is, I think, the closest to being racist I get. is it's when I wanna, Anti-Australian. Is when I fuck with a friend, I just tell them that their women are excellent lovers. <laughs> 
It doesn't You're right. Who it's, it is. it's it's like light eugenics a little bit. It's like <laughs> yeah, but it's they're like, bred for it. But you know what I mean? It can you never be any race. It, it can, can be, be any, yeah, yeah, yeah. All you have to say is like, you know, your women make excellent lovers, right? Right. Because like, there's also the implication that you're kind of fu- you're you're fucking their gene pool up <laughs> with <laughs> your <laughs> shit. I used you know? to do it to Vecchion all the time <laughs> to Italians. Would, to Italians, where awesome. I go, Italian women are incredible lovers. There was this one moment where we always bust each balls. There was this one moment where he goes like, hey. All right. Yeah. All right. Like, it's my mom and my sister. You, you, you got to show. Fuck it. Italians are so stupid. <laughs> they really you are. You do that about anybody. You're like, um, oh, what are you, Australian? So, yeah. Your yeah. women are excellent. Like, but yeah, these fu- it's like all Australians. They're fucking. Yeah. And, and one of the funniest, actually, I will admit, an Australian girl that like charmed me, I, me, and my, me and my buddy on a different night, we're walking. It's like, there's like the, vil- there's like the beach part sure. where you hang out and then up high on a mountain is like the clubs, right? And it's sick. You take a little bus up there. It's really fun. Uh, but anyway, one other night when we both struck out horribly, um, we were walking down this path. Actually, before what I'm describing, there was like a secret path. The, the taxi cost two euros. Yeah. And we're broke as fuck. We're like, fuck that, dude. We're just going to walk, walk it. Walk 20 minutes. Who and cares? walking downhill. Walking downhill. It's an easy walk. And we, we're listening to the, this fucking guy is trying. This guy from New Zealand is trying to fuck this Australian girl, and she is trolling him. She's just like, she's like, Kiwi's trying to fuck me. Like she literally had like was being like uh, Australia supremacist to the New Zealand guy, and she kept trolling him. She's like, "Where's your air force, mate? Where's your air force?" Oh my they, god! New Zealanders don't have an air force. That I is guess. Crazy. <laughs> It's crazy to be taunted about your <laughs> your country's military while not getting pussy. Yeah, like she's like, I'm not gonna fuck you, and guess what? I would meet my people would and war you'll crime. Never, you'll never land an airstrike on me because <laughs> you don't have planes. You got bands. You don't have planes. You fucking kiwi. So, so anyway, maybe this was when I re- like, and I had walked the path a couple times, but I didn't know it well. So me and my boy are going out, and we we really are not like. You know, we just kind of wanted to like relax. We went to Greece as like a reset thing. Sure. Like we're, we're not, not raging. We're, we're not raging. I had gotten a lot of. That was the first year of my life that I had gotten pussy. We we lived together in Baltimore at the time, and this was I'm twenty three, twenty four, and we got a cool. You know, my rent's three hundred bucks. Mm. First time in my life, I fucked ten girls that year. It was Ooh. the best year of my life. You know Ooh. what I mean? I still remember it. What a time! We were such retards too. We were like we <laughs> we had spray painted a bottle of lube. And whoever fucked most recently got the lube bottle. <laughs> you guys had a trophy system? We had a fucking... We had what are you guys, the Tour de France? We would literally yeah, play yellow, trophies yeah, by Drake. Well, the so the funny. next morning when someone fucked, they would take the lube bottle, blast trophies on a boombox. <laughs> and a, like, we would award each other the fucking bottle of lube. <laughs> 23 with your boy is so fun. It's such fun behavior. Yeah. If you're 39 and doing oh, that, you're like, hey, do you have women kept in the basement? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's over. It's you're fucking like, ridiculous. Who wants the lube trophy? Yeah, no, I'm... I'm embarrassed now looking back but at oh, the no. time it was like you know yeah. super fun a great and it was a really fun year but anyway so we're going to greece and like we just kind of wanted to fucking relax and the only reason we're even on this party island is because my at the time 36 year old cousin this is greece there's no jobs for his generation it's after the economic collapse oh. so he just his whole life his job was he would be a bar back at a metal bar on a party island and so we went to visit him. Otherwise, we're going to like laid back islands. We had no idea what to expect. It's so funny. We go to his island the first the first night and we're tired from travel. And he's like, come on, come visit me. And it's like, shit doesn't start till midnight. No. And we're already tired. And we get to this bar at like one. We're like, all right, we'll get a fucking, we'll get a drink and then we'll just go to sleep, whatever. I want to see him. This motherfucker, it's an empty bar. He's working there. He's singing Ozzy Osbourne. He's he's taking the mic. He's play, He's he's like he's just a, finish with my woman because she. And it's just like, <laughs> That's so like awesome. dude, the only That's person so working, awesome. neglecting the customers I, and singing Ozzy Osbourne. I would almost be more excited for that than a packed bar. No, for sure. It was really. I mean, don't get me wrong. Yeah. That was hilarious to like, walk oh, into that. Yeah. That's my cousin. I haven't seen in like five years. And yeah. He's a grown man, and I'm like, I wonder what he's like these days. And that's what is. Like. He's had the most. He had a great run where he would just like there was no judgment because you couldn't get a job. Yeah, so you just like you can't be a, you're not a piece of shit. He would go there and he would like work seasonally. He would lose all his money. He would like he would he would sleep in a tent oh. and fuck tourists in a tent and work for him because he just believed in himself. He had yeah. that like you also know, foreigner like a confidence. woman from a woman from like Des Moines. 
She's like this Greek man. This charming made Greek love man. to me in his Greek <laughs> under the tent. stars. And really, he's like, yeah, you, you're an Aussie fan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, one time somehow he he went to a, a Black Sabbath show in London. And Oz, Ozzy Osbourne had like water bottles, a bucket for his water bottles, and he threw the bucket in the stands. And my cousin like fought guys and had it, and they tried to confiscate it from him at airport security. And somehow, post nine eleven, he convinced them to just let him have like a bucket that Ozzy Osbourne. That's crazy. It, I mean, he's a he's a lunatic. Yeah, I love him. He's the best. But anyway, a lot of backstory here. Anyway, my fucking cousin Leonida, he keeps us up till like four a.m. That's the only reason we're there. He's like. No, stick around. I was trying to get weed. He was like, stick around. I got a friend uh, oh, just lying yeah. so that we would hang out. Yeah. And he like, just the classic won't let you go to sleep guy. Um, anyway, that's the only reason we're at this. So we're getting ready for a night of like. Yeah, you're going to take you know, a walk. You know, we're like, fuck it. We, so this is the next day. We're like, whatever. Let's do it. We meet some girl. There's a bus that takes you to the thing. We meet some like American girls. And it's like, all right. If we're going to fuck, it's going to be girls that, spe- you know, like, yeah. we can't really fuck in Greek. Like, yeah, you need the I'm, culture. Exactly. I'm fluent, but I can't really, I have, like, an eighth grader's perception of Greek. I can't get pussy in Greek. And my buddy. That's funny. I've never thought about that. With the, <clears throat> when, like, anybody, anytime someone can speak another language, I just assume it's as good as your English. No, where you're I like, have to oh, translate okay. constantly. It sucks. And it's hard being funny, too, because it's like, we're good at, like, That's timing. Like, and Daniel and, Simonson is one of the most impressive comics I've ever seen yeah, in my life. Yeah, yeah. Very funny guy. Go watch him. For he's sure. Norwegian, Super funny. And he's Norwegian and, and came here and is killing it. And he leans in. He's very smart because he's a he's like a good like joke writer. And he leans into the like timing thing by having very unconventional timing. Yeah. And it really works with the, with the accent. Daniel's fucking hilarious. Um, so you're on this path. So we're on the path. And anyway, we meet these girls, right? And like three of them are fucking awesome. And one is like a little, you know. Yeah, well, you need that. You know, one's a little. She's what, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not gonna get my hopes up. I'm gonna just, I'm just gonna try and fuck the okay one. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I'm gonna try. I'll. I'm gonna set my. My friend is hotter. I lived there. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah. I was always sec- I On a great day, I'm second tier. So, so we're chatting up these girls, and you know what? It's going good actually. And I'm like, yeah. okay, maybe we are gonna get pussy in Greece. This is kind of fun. Um, we get to the bars, the first bar we're chatting, and the way it would go would be like, you know, you bar hop, they're, they're all next to each other, sure. and it's like, so we're, we're chatting these girls up, and it's going kind of good, I think the one is kind of feeling me, whatever, and George, you know, my, my boy is fucking uh, talking to one of the hotter ones, we go to like the second or third bar, this fucking rugby team comes in, and bro, they are hot. Like, I would have sucked their cocks. They're just like statuesque, oh, fucking shoulders for days. Shoulders, beautiful blonde, like oh. like fucking. They look like Swayze and Point Break, oh. but uh, but jacked. Oh. You know what I mean? Like immediately, no body fat. Immediately, the first, the hot ones, gone, swooped up. I'm surprised, <laughs> like, you, didn't see it. I'm surprised you didn't see a cartoon dust. Yeah, you know, it's like them, but it's pew. like these bitches won't even look us in the eyes anymore, and then. What happened? The way we get knocked off the hot ones, oh. I, um, I get knocked you're off. You're explaining all of my college. I get knocked off the average looking one, and my buddy's like, "It all changed." Right, I think I'm gonna get in here, and I'm like, "You know what? I wasn't that into it." And she clearly like because her options were better now. She pounced because yeah. now there's a, a sale on my mar- guy. It's a buyer's yeah. market. <laughs> She's like, I don't have to fuck the fat one anymore. You you, you really had it locked up real estate-wise. And then they're like, dude, sorry, it shifted. The bubble burst. So so she's just working on my boy the Uh, whole night. And at a certain point, I'm like, this uh, is going to happen. Who cares? It was pretty fun. I'm fucked up. I wander off. I just randomly, I see this girl when we were checking in. We kind of made a little small talk, but it was like, I didn't think anything of it. I see her out. She's looking out out of fucking control like she's got like she's got like the dark lip she, her hair is curly and done up she's wearing this hot fucking dress where it's like you just kind of only covers her tits but it's like see through and she like was not having this vibe at all when we were hanging out I just hit it off with her right and things are going I'm like what the fuck I'm like in my head I'm like how is this happening yeah and she's like I'm like want to get the out of here the first time you fuck out of your league well, yeah. You're like, what's, what's really going and on? And like, here? here's the thing. I had fucked out of my league in Baltimore with a home field advantage and with everything going sure. my way after a show. Like, I had figured out how to fuck in my home turf, but I'm doing a massive away game yeah. after already coming off yeah. an L. Like, this is yeah. an insane comeback. And yeah. she is 
like exactly my type curly hair big tits like you, like this is my fucking like I dreamt this up it's, it's almost the end of a 90s movie it's insane it's feeling like, that you're way you're the girl from the lobby and here's the thing kiss me I, I waited all night exactly no no that's what would have been fucking playing here's the thing my fucking piece of shit cousin who kept me up till 4am yeah. he actually came through and got me weed I had weed in my fucking room so 23 on vacation no one can find drugs how old is she She's about my, she's my okay. age. So it's like, it's college-y shit, right? Post-college first. So I'm like, I'm done. I'm like, want to get out of here? I got weed. Let's smoke weed on the beach. Fuck it. Oh, what? Come on. Now, here's where the fucking, here's where the error comes in. Remember how I told you the, the taxi cost two euros? Yeah. Or the walk was 20 minutes? I thought I had this walk. I was like, two euros. It'll be romantic. We'll chat, you know, whatever. Yeah. We'll go to the beach. We'll make you got, that a little you're bit. You're doing that thing in your head where the moon is over the exactly, ocean. Exactly, exactly. And you guys are both laughing about a story. Yeah, and she's yeah. she's like, oh, I've got to come to Baltimore. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, I take this thing. It's supposed to be a 15, 20-minute walk. I keep getting lost. No. There's no path. It's like 40 minutes. Oh. And at a certain point, like, the, oh. the, the, the walk down starts, and it's, like, really fun, and we're laughing. And then by the end, it's like, I'm saying shit, and she's silent. And then the last 10 minutes, she's just like, it's pure silence. Oh. And I'm like, hey, want to smoke? And she just doesn't. She's like, you know what? I'm getting, I'm actually kind of tired. Like, oh. the vibe has evaporated. I am devastated. Well, you felt that. In but comedy, you, when you lose the room, but yeah, you oh, lost I the room. lost the room fully. It's just chatter, and you're going like, "Hey, what are you guys talking about?" Ah, oh, and I'll now, saying that, if dude, I heard, and now, what's going on over there, dude? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Oh, what, so, what do you guys want to say? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh. just trying to, just trying to look nice, shirt, buddy. And they're like, "Fuck you," and it's like, "Huh?" <laughs> so you lost. I'm the just room. look, I, dude. It, it, I didn't lose the room. One of the audience members stabbed me. <laughs> like, it was yeah. so done. Yeah. This woman wouldn't make... We were staying in the same hotel. She wouldn't make eye contact oh. with me. I blew it so hard. So, okay. So now it's been like, I've left my boy. It's been like a couple hours because I hit it off with her. We're drinking. He's... Um, I go to my room and I'm just like... It's a fucking hostel, right? It's me and my guy. I just like... Uh, I'm fucking... Uh, I'm fucking... I'm just ready to go. Forget it. I get in there. I'm like, let me watch a movie on his iPad. And um, I go in there. I start I start watching Grand Budapest Hotel. Okay. Right? Getting artsy. In the... Grand Budapest yeah, Hotel. You're in a hostel. So you're in a hostel. Like, yeah, go. yeah. Within minutes, fucking door slams open. <laughs> My I boy... have a guess. I have a guess what's going to happen. <laughs> My boy and his fucking girl come through. He just. What, was it the Australian girl? No, no, no. She oh. wasn't Australian. It was just a girl from America. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. the girl, the girl, the girl oh, that I, the original no. girl that I, the no. night started. My boy comes in. He sees me watching Grand Budapest Hotel. He's like, oh, "Fuck." He's like, "All right, I'm gonna go get my dick sucked in the pool." Here's some headphones. So he just goes, gets his dick sucked in the pool. I have headphones. He just yeah, comes. They really do treat you like a child. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, put your headphones on and watch this. Dude, literally, you're like the little girl that lives in the closet in the Metallica <laughs> "Turn the Page" video. Yeah, yeah. It's like when I do it ever again. Yeah, yeah. you're just like in the closet while your friends are like. Stop so anyway, so he comes back. He comes back. He's like, dude. He was just like. He's just like, yeah. I think he. I just hear him go. Yeah, no, he's asleep. <laughs> and then they just come back. I'm still fucking watching on the iPad like this. <laughs> And he's, he's just definitely out. He's slamming oh, her, dude. Oh. <laughs> and like, oh, dude, that's so great. Yeah, he's doing it. You're you're watching ki kitschy dialogue. Yeah. As you just hear like, I'm watching Ralph. <laughs> yeah, Ralph finds with a little mustache. Yeah. My uh, boy's just getting in there. In it. Then it's like. <laughs> Jason, Jason, what's his name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck. What is his name? Jason. I don't know. He's in all uh, those movies. We fucked up. Rushmore. Yeah. Anyway. Schwartz? Yeah, Schwartz. Jason, there he is. Yeah. Jason Schwartzman is just like, well, I didn't order that. And you just hear like yeah. your friend be like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. And meanwhile, it was a rugby team that fucked you up. Dude, a rugby team. And it was just, and then wake up the next day. He's, he didn't want to fuck. She, she worked him because he, he was vulnerable and after getting, you know, the girl he wanted, so he felt horrible about it. And then I believe they fucked in the morning too. Oh. But anyway, it was a it was L's all around because he this no disrespect to this woman, he every other girl he's ever fucked in his life is like much hotter. Like yeah. that was his 
his rug. He got he taken like, advantage uh, of, and then he was a piece. He of was ass. probably mad. He was probably mad because the rugby team came and fucked yeah. the whole food chain. Exactly, up. exactly. So anyway, but yeah, I saw that other girl. I would see her like around, and I was just like, "What could have been?" Hey, so uh, <sighs> now phones have Google Maps. Yeah. On them. <laughs> if you're so. out there, if you remember this story, and you still got big ass titties, <laughs> I'm up now, baby. Yeah. I'm up. <laughs> yeah, you don't realize she's got like two. Oh, young she's got kids. kids for sure. No, I'm 33. Everyone, yeah. If, at this she's age, come to your show and. Sweatpants and UGG boots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll suck. A listen, I'll fucking. You she can, goes, listen. The tits are there, but the mean ain't as firm. <laughs> we don't. We can work with that. Yeah. <laughs> if you're listening, we can work with that. Yeah, dude, you're a titty cobbler. But dude, yeah, absolutely, tits. we can do that for yeah, sure. We, we'll we hold. I know how to hold them. If I got enough leather, I could fucking push yeah. them up. Dude, I know how to. I know the push. I know the legs to brace them in a certain way <laughs> when when they're all folded up. I got a fucking system. <laughs> Stavros over here doing titty origami. Yeah. <laughs> it's, a, it's a goose. I look a swan. Fuck. Anyway, um, yeah, that was just a. We took a big detour there, but that's a. I just needed to get that detour. story out there. Tough elves, man. Tough elves when you're on the precipice of getting your dick sucked and then it's yeah. snatched away from you. Young and horny. It's oh. mostly elves. Where'd you go? You went to? Didn't you go to Arizona State? What's U of A? U of A. Arizona. Oh, Arizona. I was in Tucson. Tucson. And it's out of. Out of I was just, uh, I jumped up a weight class and shouldn't have gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Should have gone to a smaller school. Sure. Probably would have done better. Yeah. Arizona, I didn't have the money or the, like, what's up, bro? <laughs> right, right, like, right, I, right, When right. they came at me like that freshman year, I was like, what? Yeah, I yeah, I took yeah. it all aggressive. Of course. It, but instead, it was just, like, dudes being like, yeah, we're going to go do some blow. And then all the girls were, like, bleach blonde, too tan. Yeah, yeah. Wearing Not your Dutch. cup of tea. Not at all. No. I needed to go to like Vermont. Or <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Or like you would have done great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some mountain mountainous bitches. Or Cal some Berkeley. Yeah, yeah, Nor, yeah. Nor Cal maybe, but like yeah. Oregon. Pacific Northwest probably would have done real well. Yeah. yeah Arizona, is, everyone was tan and shirtless, and I was like, I have puffy nips. Yeah. So like, <laughs> and I just wanted to smoke cigs and get yeah, high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all I wanted to do. So oh, like, yeah. You needed to go to a place where you could get pussy from yeah. getting high, yeah. not doing blow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it was, it was uh, they call it, you know, when I was there, they called it the U of Yay. Oh, I didn't know the that. The first time I ever saw a line at a party. Yeah. The U of like, Yay? I was like, oh, are people waiting to go smoke a bowl in that room? And yeah. Like, someone was like, what? They're like, no loser. Yeah, dude, cocaine. Were you there fucking... when Suggs was there? No, he was at ASU, but oh, he was ASU, there. ASU, he was, ASU. I think, yeah, Suggs was there my... Sorry, the Devils are the ASU. Yeah, we're yeah, the yeah. Wildcats. You're the Wildcats. Oh, okay. <laughs> Richard Jefferson, uh, dude, fucking yeah. that was good my... basketball Good basketball team. They went to the they went to the championship my... Luke Walton. So, yeah, he was there while I was there. Oh, nice. Jason Gardner. Yeah, uh, that was a good team. S- shout out Salim Stoudemire. That was a, Salim Stoudemire. That was a good team. He was Salim went to high school with my friend. Hell yeah! So I I hung with him a couple times. And he was he was nice. He Fuck was, yeah! And he dropped like thirty five on Cal and then came and got high. That's it. You're like you're you're awesome. That's a, that's a I, real one. The, the, the one of the coolest moments with sports in my college career is my roommate sold a lot of weed, and like people would come over, like friends of friends and shit. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and one day Salim was over there with our buddy Mike, who he knew, and we were like smoking weed. We played NCAA college basketball. Hell yeah! It was when they did like NCAA. That was a, those were great games, dude. Dude, I picked Michigan State, who ended up being the Elite Eight that year, and he picked Arizona. And all he would do was just pass to himself in the corner <laughs> and shoot threes. <laughs> and it worked. The first half he was killing me, and then That's I came back awesome. playing low. That's gotta feel so good to be able to sh- select yourself in a video game <laughs> in college. Yeah, and so just what's, what's while you're playing the games, McDaniel, the coach of the Dolphins. Uh, Played football at Yale, yeah. and they put all 117 teams on one of the years of NCAA. Right. I want to say it was like 03 or 04 right, right. NCAA. <laughs> but you could be the Ivy League schools. Right. And so we would play. I remember I, FIFA did, I think one year FIFA did that with every team. Yeah. And that was huge for me because oh, Greece, yeah, you, you could the, play in the Greek team, Olympiacos. That was my, and you could only play them Champions League. You couldn't do a franchise. So there was one year. So that must have been a huge. It was crazy. When, you're, when you play at Yale to be able to play yourself. Well, and that's I, your boy, by the way. Yeah, McDaniel, McDaniel was my boy. So yeah. I would play with, I would, you know, they kind of fucked him too. They made him like a. Uh, like, like a, a 42. 62. Oh, a 62. Or like a 58. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Like, that's yeah, disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, that's my boy. Yeah, but you, I would be like, and then my other, uh, another friend of mine from high school, Aaron Robbins, played defensive end at Wyoming, and he was oh, on yeah. the game. 
Fuck yeah. You're like, that's pretty awesome. That's pretty sick. Yeah, yeah it's got to be cool. Oh, yeah. I definitely did that with my teammates, like, that would that played in, like, yeah. fucking at if Maryland you, and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, if you knew anybody yeah, that yeah, played, yeah. you're like, I that was be awesome. my boy. That was awesome. Yeah. Shout out Laquan. Laquan Williams. Uh, but um, a couple other... I mean, I Silva played. We had a couple... Polly had a couple guys. That really? Yeah, you know, you know what's so funny? We actually talked about this when... <laughs> this is how long ago this was. You were guest hosting the Anthony Cumia show. And, oh, I, and, I, was, and I was the fucking... Holy I had just shit. moved. Yeah. And I was like... Dude, I was like pumped. Because we were boys because yeah. I was opening for Bobby. Yeah, yeah, but I was like, I get to do a fucking pod with soda. It's going to be sick. Yeah. And we had this. It's so funny how like it, it the time is a flat yeah. circle. Yeah. But we were in we were in Anthony Cumia's yeah. fucking studio. Was, dude, I remember that. <laughs> Holy shit. That was fun, though. That, that was, was really fun. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wasn't that the one where we watched the NFL commercials where they're doing like the domestic dispute? And we're like, if you take out one part of this. It just looks like they're aggressive. I think so. But they're yeah, like, yeah. sorry you fell down the stairs. Yeah, 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 yeah. NFL yeah, yeah. really tried to do that. <laughs> Domestic uh, abuse thing. We had some great, that was a fucking good one. But yeah, yeah, no. I mean, a, Arizona, that's a different, that's a different that's vibe. that's why taking all those L's, I just went and did radio and stand-up. Yeah. yeah. Like I went and started doing radio at KFMA and then, because I was too scared to there do There was no pussy to be got, so you're like, let me like, do a little And radio. I liked hanging out there way more. Yeah. Everyone yeah. was cooler. Elders, you did some fucking college radio. Yeah, I did college radio. Pussy Hawk Live. That was the one it was yeah, called. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pussy Hawk. Yeah, Where, right? Surprise, surprise. I was not getting much pussy in college. <laughs> <laughs> where, was this, where was this at? Uh, University of Maryland. You went to College oh, Park. Yeah. Yeah. Which yeah. they're like, I mean, their radio station was legit. It was like the last terrestrial college radio station like in the area. Yeah, like, ours, was, ours, wasn't, ours was just on the digital. channels at the dorms. Mm. Or oh, online, okay, yeah. which was like, yeah. No one. No, his shit. You could pick it up on on. The fucking, That's awesome. Yeah. That's the, awesome. I did yeah. that. I did college radio and then begged my way to a job my sophomore year on like a, the local rock station, and that was like hell yeah. My Damn. friends would be working out at the at like the student rec, listening to like KFMA, and I'd be like, Hey everyone down at the Arizona rec, and they'd be like, Whoa! <laughs> Jay did that when I lived when I first moved to New York. I worked at K Rock. I worked at WXRK. Yeah. Ninety two three. And like Jay and Nate called me coming back from a gig and they're like, Hey, can you say something on the radio? And I was like, so What's up to Jay and Nate coming back from a gig? And it was like one in the morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but radio is fun as hell, but Pussy Hawk Hour is Pussy Hawk Live. Pussy Hawk. And he had live. a great the the Hawk sound effect was, oh, yeah, it was a, a great li- touch. I had like it's terrible theme song I recorded on Audacity <laughs> on my fucking the laptop mic and yeah. it was like Elders, we should bring back Pussy Hawk Live. You should have your we should start a whole network. <laughs> Just do one episode. No joke, dude. No joke. We should start a network and we should have Pussy Hawk Live once a week. Yeah. And you just fucking it's the Elder Sula show. <laughs> yeah, find, that, I'm down. find all those old drops. Oh dude, are they archived anywhere? We should put I them might've... out now. I, I called in a couple times, too. <laughs> Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. think so. Did you guest one time or something? I guessed it one time, and I called in a couple times. When did you times. start doing stand-up? Uh, when I was 19. Actually, that, that was the era I started doing it in college. So you were at um, Maryland. I was I was at University of Maryland, Baltimore County, UMBC. Yeah, dude, I the, did the a show retrievers. for UMBC Whoa. with Comedy Central. Me, Jermaine Fowler, and Nick Vatterot. Oh, shit. Like, what year? Oh, in like 2011, 2010 or 2011. No, I was yeah. there. Yeah, it was in this big auditorium thing. Wow. I got so drunk. We I went to a liquor have, store I before. I just missed you. Holy fuck. It was, yeah, UMBC. Because I went there. We were from, in Baltimore. I went, from, I went from 08 to 12. So I was there, bro. Dude, That's very interesting. I have pictures. Nick Vatterot. Just I didn't me. go to that show because I, I used to go to all the comedy shows. I went to, me and Elders went to Jim Gaffigan together. Um, we went to... Uh, who else? Who else went there? Fucking, I think Chris Hardwick. <laughs> oh, dude. But like, that's what's so crazy because it's like that's that I missed it is insane because I used to fucking go to every time a comedian would come to UMBC, I would see it. But I have no recollection of this. That's crazy. I'm looking. Yeah, what the fuck? The Retrievers, baby. But yeah, my oh, here it was. It was me, Shang Wang, and Nick Vatera. Wow. Which hold on, because let's fucking dig a let's fucking sneak peek. Oh, you're by the retriever. God yeah. damn, you look so, all of you look so young. Yeah, we were just in the green room. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, like, how the fuck did I miss it? 
hilarious, by the way. Oh, I was getting bad. Send up. that to us. We yeah. need that. We need yeah. the fucking. We need that. Flash that. <laughs> that. You look so cute. Yeah, you look dude. so angelic. Oh, dude. I got two flasks of Jameson. Both mine. So happy. <laughs> Both were mine. Soder, Soder is a drunk looking at that Jameson is happier than I've ever seen him in my life. Dude. Now. You know, quit, you know why I quit drinking? So I didn't become the old man when he grows up. When he gets, when he gets booze, he goes. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you would have been taking awesome a, taking a top off yeah, a bottle, living yeah. under a bridge, going. <laughs> now it's time for some of that good stuff. Well, that's the funny thing is you had to do it for yourself, but yeah. you, from all accounts, were not a disruptive drunk. And from everything I know about you, you were probably just a fucking good time, dude. Oh, but you just needed to improve your life. Oh, it was sad the next day when no one was there. It was yeah, when it was that was when the. When did you start drinking? How old were you? Uh, I didn't want to drink because, you know, my dad. Your dad yeah, yeah, my yeah. dad died of it. So I was like one of those guys that's like, weeds from the earth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so I was a real big pothead. Denver, was, too. You grew up yeah. in Denver when that meant some. Yeah, you could go to when Boulder. When weed meant some. You could back go to then. Boulder and get yeah. that's That was where Chronic came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, you'd go to Boulder to get the weed without sticks or stems. So it was in the, it was in your culture. You were also scared of drinking because your just, dad. I was like, I don't want to drink. Drank my mom himself. drank. My, her, like, at the time, her boyfriend drank. So I was like, Fuck this, dude. I'm just going to so, get high. So and I would just get... When did you start getting high? Uh, regularly 15. Because my one of my favorite jokes, and you have so many fucking bangers. Soda, if you don't know, somehow, one of the best fucking comics. Oh, watch his shit. The son of a Gary. Yeah. <laughs> the, the special on HBO is so fucking good. One of my favorite... I mean, so many of them are bangers, but one of my favorites is the joke about how you started smoking cigarettes so young. Yeah, I was 12. That, but you also you also played with action figures yeah, until you were 13. Yeah, and I then there was action figures until I was like 15. And then there was like a, years of overlap Dude, there was <laughs> where you're smoking cigs and the, playing action figures. I told that story on the bonfire, <laughs> and then I, wrote, I like wrote that joke, but the... Um, the actual origin, like the the day yeah. that I always remember was it was summer vacation, probably between seventh and eighth grade. Yeah. So I was at home. Yeah. You know, I, I could stay alone. I was like 12. And so I was home alone. My mom would go to work. She was gone all day. I remember in the morning, USA would play Wings. Hell yeah. Wings and then was, they a wings was awesome. Hauser, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I sat on the floor with my WWF. Hasbro figures in the ring, <laughs> yeah, yeah. battling. Yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> just battling. <laughs> and then I'd finish a match, you know, probably have a new champ. Yeah. And then I'd go on the side of my house, and I had a soft pack of Marlboro Reds. <laughs> <laughs> and I pulled the cigarette out, and I remember smoking it. Yeah, loving smoking. Thinking about like, fuck, maybe okay, H, go, maybe Triple H should get, go, the, get the strap right, next. So I probably think of Tatanka for the IC. <laughs> Maybe we do like a Hogan Undertaker steel cage match. Uh, I'm booking it. I'm fantasy booking it on the side of my house. And then I remember I went in the house and I got uh, dizzy from smoking. You know, yeah, when you yeah, first of course. The first, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. I was like, oh, and I Your laid lay down. Yeah. And I just remember laying down sideways on the couch watching Doogie Hauser, and then like rolling off and going right back to playing with the <laughs> like, Oh, oh, here he comes. That's so oh. awesome. It's so funny doing that noise. You go, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. And then the, the ovation, the yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then the noise, <laughs> and my lighters slipping out of my fucking sweat shorts. Yeah, dude, and I would, uh, I, I fucking loved cigarettes. I still do. Yeah, I, I yeah, I quit smoking yeah. 10 years ago, but I fucking miss cigarettes. Yeah, yeah. I definitely day. lit some, I mean, Norman's wedding, there was no way not to fucking light it up. Dude, in New Orleans, I got to get out of there. <sighs> Booze, it's cigarettes. Tough, I never got to do it right. It's tough. Yeah. It I was, did, mush, I don't know if I told you, I, was on, I told you, I was on mushrooms at Mark's wedding. Oh, yeah? There was a moment where me, you, and Katie were just hanging out. Yeah. And I was just like, I got to go, guys, because I just started getting... The mushrooms were hitting me. Really? In fact, I feel I, I remember feeling bad because I was like, you guys were leaving and I was like peaking and I could barely keep it together. That's crazy. We had no <laughs> idea. Also, we were so consumed with the idea of people being upset we were leaving. Right. Because we left at like fucking 930. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, you know, I don't drink. Your life is good. That's the thing. You had no, you weren't chasing anything. Well, no, we like went to the hotel and watched bad TV. Dude. That's like our getting yeah. fucked up. No, no, that's, you have the dream. It's a bunch of comedians with huge holes to fill in their yeah. lives. <laughs> we stayed out till three. Dude. Like, and you were like, I'm in a good relationship. I'm no. going, I'm leaving. But also I had to fly to Nashville right, the next day right, for right. shows. And so it was just like a thing where I was like. No, no, it was the right but move. I did not know at all you were that Dude, funny. I was, 
I was like, I hope I didn't embarrass myself to Dan and Katie. Cause I was, I, was I spooking you with all those scary stories <laughs> no. about the ghost tour? <laughs> Dude, I that don't was, even remember that. I don't even where, like that. where Mark and May were married, yeah. across from it was a, a convent. Oh, and it's sure. rumored in New Orleans in the French Quarter that that's where like the first vampires in America Ooh. were. And I went on a ghost tour and I was like, so I was on the porch and I was like, that's the place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you were like, what's up? Dude, I, I don't even remember that interaction. Yeah. You like, was huh? just, <laughs> and then, and I was gone. Yeah. And I was like, I think you're about to break into this <laughs> convent. <laughs> I just needed, I went to that back porch because we were all having, a, dude, honestly, right before the mushrooms kicked in, yeah. I was having such a good time. Oh, my just, God. We were all hanging. We were shooting the shit. We were busting balls. Busting we were balls. So it was fun. great. I mean, a great it's, group. Yeah. And then there was like just that moment. I was yeah. like, oh, no. Because I'd even forgotten I took them. I was, I think both Katie and I were like, that was leg one in a th- three leg. Yeah, she was telling me because you, you had the shows in. We did. that. So that was Thursday night. Friday, we, I went and did two shows in Nashville. Saturday, two shows in Nashville. Sunday, flew to Miami and went to the Dolphins game to watch McDaniel. So it was like, you know, by the end of oh, Sunday. Oh, that's an insane run, dude. Dude, we, when we got on that plane to go back on Jersey on Sunday, Sunday night, we are like, what the fuck? No, that's crazy. So at the wedding, we were like, let's save a let's, little bit. Let's, of, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's yeah, put yeah, some yeah. gas in the tank. That's fucking wild, though. I mean, you and me, it's got to be awesome. Your boy. Like, you yeah. and Mike and Daniel are like literally boys from like childhood. He's 12 years old. That's so sick. Yeah, and he now did, he's a fucking NFL head coach. Yeah, he didn't smoke cigarettes. I smoked yeah. cigarettes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's the difference. Well, he played, he was like, Loved football. Yeah. Like, always loved football. Yeah. And it was just kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy to watch him. Like, it's it's so cool to see a friend dominate a field totally. that you love. Totally. No, it's and what's so crazy sick. is he loves comedy. That's, that's, that is true. So he'll call me about shit. Like, well, that's, that's so funny, too, because I was just thinking that because we love it, but it's also, like, just our lives. Yeah. So nothing feels special. And then, yeah. like, my brothers are, like, huge comedy fans yeah. and they're like we'll have conversations I'm like oh this is cool but I, I'm thinking and now obviously being an NFL head coach don't get me wrong way much cooler. more impressive than being a stand up way fucking cool so, I'm not even close to yeah. equating it don't get uh, me wrong motherfuckers you don't get warm ups of comedy and squeal yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he throws a dolphin to the end I'm yeah. like oh <laughs> little kid, yeah, little kids don't line up to hear yeah. you fucking try premises. Like, oh my god, dude! I got to see him riff once. <laughs> oh. Oh. But it's got to be fun. That's just such a fucking sick setup, dude. Well, what was really cool is when you know I'm a lifelong 49er fan, even though I'm from Colorado because of my dad. Yep. And um, when he was with the 49ers in the off season, I would try to aim when I worked in San Francisco, like the punchline or whatever. I would try to do it in like March or April when football when right. was going around. And then he would come and hang out. So sick. And that was awesome. Yeah. Because he could like hang. Yeah. He could like, we'd stay. He didn't have to prep, to the club didn't prep with, for the Rams the next day. Dude, he's missed some of our friends' weddings because it's like, oh, we got to play the Jaguars. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah. Like not even a team where you're like, oh, okay. And he's like, sorry, dude. Yeah. I'm playing the Jaguars. Yeah. Again. Yeah, I get it. It was crazy. It's really cool, though, man. And it's like, you know, we're recording this the week the 49ers play the Dolphins. Yeah. And I'm the very, Soda Bowl. Dude, I'm very like, oh, yeah. boys, don't get hurt. <laughs> I want everyone to be happy. <laughs> Would you prefer a tie? Is this the one situation you'd like it to be a tie? Oh, yeah. I never thought about that. You know what it is? that is possible now with the I, overtime rules. I've just, I've just uh, dealt with the fact you're going to be like a hot sister when her like boyfriend and the brother played like each Brady other. Like Brady Quinn? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. Brady Quinn's the, sister, I think, married you know, A.J. Hawk yes, from Ohio State. Yes. And she was at the Fiesta had, Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking of. The yeah. Name, Ohio State jersey. I remember that exactly. I'm very hungover watching that. I remember that. But yeah, it's like I, um, I know no matter what, I'll be sad for either the Niners or McDaniel and right. happy for the opposite. Yeah, yeah, So yeah. that's just how y'all look it's at nice. it. Like, if the Dolphins win, I'm like, ah, fuck, the Niners needed that. Right. But good for McDaniel. Because, yeah, he's gotta he win stays that, up he's on gotta win division. That yeah, division. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if the Niners win and McDaniel loses, I'm like, ah, shit. Well, McDaniel's still in the playoff hunt. Yeah. And now the Niners are a game buffer winning yeah. the West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it's all about divisions, baby. It's all, about, it's all about divisions. It's all about the division title. But we don't have to talk about it. I don't want to talk about the Ravens because they suck. They're breaking my heart. Although. Anyway, we're not talking. Even though this will come out later, but I unfortunately don't have much much hope in the current Ravens. We we've choked too much, and I don't I don't think our offensive play calling. New coach resign Lamar. At least you definitely resign Lamar. Pay him anything he fucking wants. He's a fucking incredible talent. It'd be insane not to. 
And then at the minimum, new offensive coordinator. But I my don't buddy know. Des uh, from Baltimore. I think you met. You might have met him. He um, huge Ravens fan. And we at when McDaniel was at the 49ers, he was like, "Here's what's happened." At the end of last season, he's like, "McDaniel needs to sign one more season." With the Niners, you guys go win a Super Bowl. Right. We fire Harbaugh. Oh, then they bring McDaniel. That would have been Baltimore sick. Ravens head coach. Him with him, like what he's done with Tua, what he could do with Lamar, man. I don't know, but oh. that, that would just be like I'm waiting for that. Yeah, like, yeah. If he yeah. goes, if you know, I want him to stay in Miami for thirty years. I want him to be be Belichick. Yeah, I want him to be the greatest coach ever in Miami. However. If later in his career he Dude. does go to like Philly, yeah, 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 or yeah, fucking yeah. Baltimore, yeah, 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 uh, yeah Katie yeah, yeah. has a, Katie's always joking around. She's like, you know, when Belichick steps down, that's <laughs> yeah. a pretty good job. I, was like, I don't know if it's in division, and I'm still like, well, maybe Kyle goes to Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I wouldn't yeah, mind yeah. seeing McDaniel. You know, knowing McDaniel and growing him up with, in Colorado, I think a cool place for him to land later in his career would be Denver. Denver, yeah, because he he is a Broncos fan. He grew up there. Well, that's what's crazy. Is you talk to him now, and I'm like, are you a Broncos fan? He's like, dude. You're not a fan. Yeah. It's What's a your job. coach? Yeah. It's my job. I get that. Yeah, he's like, I, I get that. They're an organization that we might play. Yeah, but on some level, if he goes back there, he gets to be a little bit of a fan. Great. You know? I mean, he can. Yeah. He'll he'll recite more than any of the people in the press. He yeah, used to read yeah, the yeah. media guide every year. That's like, so fucking awesome. He's a ball yeah. boy for him. Yeah. Damn. Dude, he's got a really great story. And I, I don't know if it's, uh, it's not really, I, I don't want to say like it's mine to tell because sure. he told me the story, but. I don't know if it's exactly what happened, but the way he told it to me was he was a ball boy, 1998. At, so the Broncos beat the Packers the year before. 98, they're like incredible. Terrell Davis has like 2,000 yards rushing. John Elway's. Remember that, yeah. Yeah. So the AFC Championship game that year is the Jets with Vinny Testaverde. Hell yeah. At Denver. Former Baltimore Ravens quarterback as well. First Which year in the my league. dad's half-brother took me to that game. And I'm like a Niner fan, but I was like, this is awesome. Yeah, of course. It's, it's like sick. might be Elway's last game yeah. at Mile High, which it was. Yeah. And Broncos are down at halftime. And McDaniel's job was like towel. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like pick up towels or whatever. And he told me this story that he said like everyone went on the field except Elway, who took a big, they have like fountain sodas in the thing. And put ice in it and filled it with Mr. Pibb <laughs> and chugged Mr. Pibb and then went out It just won the AFC Championship. <laughs> came back and won it. And I was like, dude, that's such a cool Respect, story. Respect, dude. But McDaniel would like, I think what helped him get to the NFL was he was around that as like 13. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We were like 14, 13, yeah. 14. And you're fucking smoking cigarettes, making Billy Gunn the intercontinental dude, champion. I'm making, I'm making the, I'm giving the you're making the road dog and, and him fight. I'm giving, I'm giving the bushwhackers a run. Yeah. And, and then McDaniel's over here hanging with Steve Atwater. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, it's pretty. Uh, what dude, are, I was what just are telling his... a story. One of my, like, because me and McDaniel hung out with this group of kids that were like, you know, they were bad. Of course. But Come they were on. Our friends. Yeah. We were like friends, but they were like, they just would do. They were cool. Of course. Of course. They were the ones who were... They were, they were doing, doing a little smoking. crime. They were doing a little crime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, one of them knew I played with action figures. Oh, Like a man. little too late. <laughs> and we were walking through my house. You don't want him to have that kind of ammo. Dude, he grabbed <laughs> the basket of action figures and pulled and it dumped in front of all my friends. Oh, like, brutal. Me, I was like, dude, you just did me dirty. And you're 14. 13. 13, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it really hurt. Yeah, no, that that fucking that's tough. But what what else what what, what else like what was the um what what were the vibes over there with that crew? When you're like little cigarette smoking Danny. Me, we were the pussies. You're trying <laughs> I swear to God. No, and honestly, I've uh I've I've gotten like over the years kind of stayed in loose touch. Like Mitch and Nick will come to shows when I'm at like comedy works, but they were like cool. They were like fingering girls. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah Doing yeah, kickflips, yeah, yeah. dude. And I was I was ripping butts and then going home and being like, well, no one said the Ninja Turtles couldn't wrestle. Who says Raphael can't get a run? But, but <laughs> so it was like. I wanted to be cool, but I didn't. I was just like being raised by a mom who was of dating course. different dudes. My, we really, yeah, that's a. We're we're gonna listen. Part two, we got to get into the fucking. We 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 got to answer some questions, but I, I thought we were for sure gonna talk about just all the all the stepdads coming in and out, all the boyfriends. You Yo, know, man, it's it was mostly good. 
Uh, but the bad ones, we were like, damn, dude, this guy lives with us? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, like, you know, when, when you're little, you don't realize, like, what's li- what's yours and what's theirs. And right, someone, right, right. when a dude's living with you, you're like, yeah. what? Yeah. Did you eat my cereal? <laughs> dude, that would piss me off so much. Dude, it was other things where they'd be like, take the glass I like. No, dude. Where yeah. I'm like, that's my, what are you dude, doing? Dude, what the fuck? That's the Batman limited edition Mr. Freeze cup. Yeah, you touch, you touch those. <laughs> You're getting Lorena yeah. Bobbin. I'm fucking. I'm, I'm grabbing your cock and slicing it off in the night. Don't you touch my Batman glasses? Christine from the bonfire. She just got me the Welch's dinosaur ones. Ooh. Which so now Katie and I have them at the crib. That's awesome. Yeah, I got is, a Looney Tunes mug that was like. <laughs> I mean, my parents were together hilariously, but yeah. if there was ever a guy tried to fucking tried to come in and take Ooh, that, I had fucking... a 49ers rocks glass, and one time one of her boyfriends used it, and I was like, "This motherfucker!" <laughs> I, I think I even gave the I think I even gave the kill order on Monday. I was like, "Hey, Randy was a uh, real liberal with those glasses." Yeah. Randy asked to touch my privates. <laughs> so, why did Randy kiss me on my belly when I told him I didn't want it? <laughs> mom, Why did Randy kiss me during our karate lessons? <laughs> mom, mom, I don't like that Randy gives me shirtless hugs. <laughs> and he told me if I told anyone that we can't do this anymore. <laughs> He's packing up his stuff. You're just fucking drinking a fucking Coca-Cola out of the glass. I go, Randy, one for the road? And he's like, you son of a bitch. You son of a bitch, I loved your mother. It's a shame you have to go. <laughs> The worst, the, the saddest, <laughs> the saddest, funniest one. Yes. It was my dad's ex-best friend, my godfather. Fucked my mom for ooh, years. Ooh. They dated. And he was, he was, uh, it was, he, was, he just didn't know how to be around teenage Of course. Yeah, I hated yeah. him when I was younger, but now I'm older. That's also like, such a weird move. Your best friend fucks your fucking, dude. yeah. It's a power That's move. That's some like medieval shit. Dude, I call it settler law. Yeah. <laughs> Settle it. That's what I call it on stage. I was like, this motherfucker was living settler wall. But I hated him. And yeah, I got yeah. big enough. I hit my growth spurt when I was like 16. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like lifting weights, yeah, just playing football. Dude, and I, so I got big. Yeah. I wanted to fight him. Yeah. And the second I got big enough, he took off. Wow. But he moved in with my mom's best friend that he ended up marrying. What the fuck is up with this guy? Boy, it was wild. It's crazy. He left. He moved out the day my I found out my sister got killed. Like oh. I found out that morning as he was moving out. So Holy I, I was I was like devastated. Yeah, what the? And he, fuck? I just remember him holding a box and being like, "Sorry about Michelle." <laughs> oh like, my yeah. god! I was like, oh, I fucked." Her. I was like, <laughs> "Yeah, just go." <laughs> Probably best if you go. <laughs> and the guy's like, okay, oh, motherfucker. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, brutal. Tough stuff, dude. Yeah. Marrying the best friend, dude. What a fucking lunatic. Yeah, they're still together, though. So Could you're I, like, well, yeah, you know, I guess it worked out it for in the end. Yeah, dude. He was just hopping. He just tried to fuck every woman he had met until one stuck. Dude, man, him moving in under the guise of our roommate and then started dating my mom and uh. then the power shift where I was, I was, I was a bad kid. Like when I was 13, I was like failing. Eighth You're grade. acting out. Your life is, I was all smoking over cigarettes. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was, but I was still a nice kid. No, you weren't bad. You were just like acting out. I was acting out. Yeah. And they were like, this piece of shit. Military yeah, yeah, school. Yeah. I got threatened to be held back. Wow. Military. You had to go to military school? No, no, no. I was oh, like, there was, the it was on a table. The, yeah, you know, yeah, the yeah. catalog on of the course, fucking of kitchen table. AJ Soprano, take yeah. you to the meetup. And it's, then, it's, yeah. For real, like that kind yeah. of shit where she's like, my friend Scott ended up having to repeat eighth grade and our moms were like in on it together. My wow. mom's like, he'll repeat too. Wow. I was like, bitch, I ain't repeat eighth grade. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and then... It was because it like they, he would just talk shit, but I stayed at McDaniel's house every weekend. Yeah, because his parents were cool. Damn, and I just go to his house and we'd watch SNL. He had Sega Channel. You had Sega Channel. I fucking had Dude, Sega Channel. I go over no to one it. I go over to Elvis's. I know, no one knows what the fuck I'm talking. It's crazy. About. You would play any video. It's game Netflix. You it was Netflix it was for Netflix. videos in 1990, so fucking three, sick. 94. It was like yeah, 96. Actually, 96, 96. 97, because we were like eight or nine. Yeah, you know what it was? You know, it was 96. You know why I know that? Because the 96 Atlanta Games was a game mm. that you could play on the Sega Channel, mm. and you could fucking yeah, do that with the, the controller on the ground yeah, 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 and yeah, win with yeah. Michael Johnson. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, me and Elders were in there playing Sega Channel with his fucking grandma napping on the cot. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
quiet down the NHL 95 makes too much noise. Dude, his, his grandma was awesome because, like, she couldn't, like, when we say, like, foreigners don't speak English, yeah. usually it's like, they speak English. They could get by. His grandma, we'd be like, Eldis, his, his grandma's right there, Eldis is there, I'm here. I'm like, hey, Eldis, do you want to come suck my balls and shit in my mouth? And his grandma would be like... <laughs> Just smiling at it's us. Gotta be so it hard was awesome to dude. come to a different country and then <laughs> kids are just playing pranks on you. Where they go, dude. hey, grandma, do you like dog dick? <laughs> and she's like, she had to fight to get out. And she's like know? serving you a pastry yeah. and like she's kissing like, you on the cheeks. This is the only thing that reminds me of home. Like, hey, Nana. It, was, it wasn't even like prank. I felt like. I was just like doing a cool trick or something. Yeah, yeah, it was so like a magic like trick. Yeah. She's yeah. right there. Yeah, She's every the first time a new person is watch this stuff. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> Ball. <laughs> I remember your brother stuff was over a few years ago and that was like, you know, she never really learned any English never, at dude, all. Never. It was crazy. And I was just like, you know, just like saying ridiculous shit and he was like what the fuck like smoothie <laughs> was your confused. grandma's right here <laughs> I have friends like that where they talk too liberally around like their kids or whatever you're like yo it's your yeah, kids right here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. They're like, They're but she was the best dude uh, R.I.P. to the old girls R.I.P. but uh, anyway this is look we got you've clearly made your bona fides these motherfuckers know you got some fucking you've lived a life Danny yeah, I got, I, you're ready to give these motherfuckers some advice that's why I grew a beard because I'm seasoned you look wise now dude honestly I like the look it looks awesome I'm excited to shave it into different things because I think it's, for the last you know for this season of Billions by the end of the season they want me to be clean shaven again mm, you know, so like, you can go a little bit I'll yeah, go, a little I'll, bit at a time. Piece by piece. Yeah. <laughs> Katie's Fu like, Manchu. I might like you in a mustache. It's like, are you going to like me in a Fu Manchu? Fu Manchu's a power move. I might have a whole Hulk Hogan, dude. Yeah. You better believe it. <laughs> Say your prayers, brother. <laughs> All right. So why don't, now we got wise-ass soda in the mix. Let's answer some of these motherfuckers' questions. And as always, 904-800-STAV. And if you have to go at any point, let me know, too. I got like... What do you got? How far of a walk are you to the train? Uh, We're pretty close. I'll also get you an oobs, baby. Dog. You know, you know, you know. I also you let come. me for the nostalgia. You're right. right walk to end. Duncan on 30th yeah, Avenue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This used to be my playground. Used to be. Are you kidding me? It's New York. You can still say you I'm sorry. Go watch Die Hard with a Vengeance. Please. Let's answer a couple fucking questions before Danny has to go get himself a culotta. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hit us with the first one, Eldis. Hi. I really need some help. Fucking dumbass, hurry up. Dude. I really need some help. I am totally thinking about somebody else while I'm dating another person. And uh -oh. I can't stop. And I know what to do. And I believe in polyamory. I think I might just be liking two people at once. Yeah. Okay. The other person's polyamorous, but my boyfriend is not. Yeah. <laughs> Your boyfriend? <laughs> yeah. I could have oh, yeah. gone. Oh. Bleep that out. Bleep that out. Bleep that out. Bleep that out. Bitch is fucking putting her number on here? She goes, also, my boyfriend's going to see this number. You call him back and get pretty pissed. <laughs> He's very against polyamory. <laughs> yes, yeah, stop. You should hit her up. I maybe should. I have been dating a lot of girls in open relationships. It's yeah, pretty dude, nice. That's like uh It's good. Am I old? Huh? I feel like I'm an old man now because I feel like I, know I just got saying. engaged. So obviously yeah. I'm a monogamy kind of, of guy. Of course. But uh, I feel like it's always... Women that are just half in relationships. Yeah, there's a little bit of that. But there's also like, I do, th here's how I view it, right? It's just some shit where it's like, we're kind of just codifying what it's like to date around anyway, yeah. right? It's like, let's all be adults about this. But I think they, I think our parents. You got a main, yeah. and then you'll fuck around until you're ready to settle down. That's how I see it. I Other people don't see it that way. Other people want to like live in this forever. You know what it feels like is when weed was really illegal and you had all those groups that would try to like act like, oh, but it's actually spiritual and yeah, yeah, medical. Yeah. And it, yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. like, you just want to get high. Right, right, You just right. want to fuck other people. I agree fully. Okay, admit it. You, what you're saying is what our parents' generation did, where they'd be like, like that's like the whole thing of like fucking a stripper at a bachelor party. Yeah, like, yeah that's yeah. wild. Yeah, 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 no way yeah, I would do yeah, that. Yeah. I wouldn't fuck a stripper yeah. and then yeah, marry yeah. Katie. Yeah, yeah. And be like, <laughs> 
Right. And right, I know right. that I know there's other guys that w- like want to be pieces of shit and be like, oh, you're not a dude. But I'm like, no. It's just, no, I'm with that's you 100%. How I feel. But I think like, I understand what you're saying. Whereas you want to, like, you, like, like, all right, like, I'll date you, I'll date you. But then if one grabs you, that's and how then I, you yeah, have yeah. a long term relationship. Yeah. Well, then it's like. And that's the thing for me. It's like if they're in a main relate, like I personally don't have time for like a real deal relationship right now. And if these girls have it set up with her, their boyfriends, where they're like, yeah, but you also, can fuck somebody Well, you know, I'm like, listen, great. And I'm not care. knocking dudes who love watching their lady get banged sure, by other guys. Sure, 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 sure. We're, we're sex positive yeah, on Stavi's have world. Have at it, Hoss. <laughs> yeah. Have at it, dude. Have your lady get torn up by yeah. a fucking personal trainer at Planet Fitness. Yeah. <laughs> but be honest with what it is. Right, Stop right, doing right. this thing where it's like, oh, it's polyamory. But dude, Jay some people... was telling a funny story about these like porn stars that were in like a thruple or whatever. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he said the problem with them was like their reaction to people being like, "Whoa," was like, "Oh, what? It's totally normal." It's like, "No, it's no, not. it's not." But it's okay. So be cool about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? No, I'm with you. And I think for some people, it's like, like I'm not there. I've, I, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm trying to do some material on it too, where it's like, I like fucking somebody else's girlfriend but i don't want someone to fuck my girlfriend <laughs> like that's so so i'm okay with no. if that's if those are your no. rules great and 100 you know I mean? and it's fun to be the pool boy yeah <laughs> yeah yeah, when yeah you're yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. confused husband yeah. that's getting duped over like in these brazzer scenes but some people yeah it's like what do you mean someone's on the other side of this door fucking you <laughs> but i will say some people it's just like they're also like hey look you really matter to me like we, there is, you're just like, I get it. Some people have explained it. There's, where a, it's connection. Like, there's a connection. There's a connection. And guess what? And and the way they explain it is like, look, you're going to be jealous, but you're jealous in every relationship. And if you just admit that like, it's not the biggest deal in the world to you. And it's like, we're both fucking other people. It's also, you know, this guy she's talking to that she actually likes. Right. I think she might. Well, be yes. Over, to get back to this girl's question. I think she might be over her boyfriend. And I yeah. think she just likes this other guy. But the warning to her is I say Maybe go for that, but be warned. You get got with the way that you were got. Absolutely. So, like, if he's like, I'm, pol- I'm polyamorous, baby. Like, yeah, yeah, when you're yeah, hitting yeah, on yeah. a guy's girlfriend, you're playing with house money. Yeah. You're yeah. like, that's, Act, that's crazy. He doesn't fuck you every night and every morning. And also, you're doing crazy. whatever it takes. Go be in a three and a half year relationship and fuck every morning and every night. Well, no, but that's, that's the other, that's another part where it's like, that's what I'm trying, that's another bit I'm trying to work on where it's like, I don't want to. I don't want them to fuck my girlfriend because I know how much I look forward to fucking their girlfriend. It's <laughs> I, It's once a month. Yeah. I'm giving them fucking yeah. prime dick. Yeah, I'm yeah. thinking about it. I don't see her every fucking day. Yeah. You. It's job interview versus the guy who's about to retire. Yeah. Who do you think cares more? He goes. You know? Yeah. I mean, I refill the coffee. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 I keep yeah. my desk tidy. Yeah. Yeah. And then that, the guy yeah. that comes in once a month and he's like, I have got plans for this right, place. Right. Right. <laughs> Brother, I'm gonna tell you right now, there ain't no. We're, for we're this doing place. A, a group happy hour. We yeah. all need to get together and meet we're each gonna other. Wear your favorite sports jersey. Yeah. <laughs> and he goes, yeah, yeah. Also, we're gonna need those uh, numbers. Back yeah. <laughs> it's. I'm just telling her. So, Eldis, I'm sorry. I don't. I couldn't hear in the very beginning. She is dating someone else. Yeah, she's thinking about someone else. But she hasn't fucked them or anything. She's just talking to them. I think so. But yeah. he, she believes in polyamory. But her boyfriend doesn't. so does doesn't. the guy that she's <laughs> right. talking to. But I'm sure the guy who she's talking to doesn't just believe in getting his dick sucked by her. <laughs> yeah. He, like, like, what it is. <laughs> She's like, yeah, yeah, polyamory's yeah, me yeah, yeah, fucking yeah. you. <laughs> Probably pretty polyamorous. <laughs> and then if, I guarantee if they locked up, if they locked horns and stayed in a long-term thing for over 18 months, he would not be cool with her getting fucked by other dudes. Because, like, right now, possible. he's absolutely playing that. But he could, listen. Or it, he could be, and I could be wrong. Is, but that's the thing. That is, a, that is a low percentage. If we're working the percentages, that is a very low percentage. Where you're saying, like. Actual people that are cool actual with Actual being cool with You know how comfortable percentage. with yourself you have to be with? To watch a dude just... That's why it's always old rich men who are like... It's old rich... Young men, bang my wife. Well, what it always... Yeah, it's like, if it's just... If, if it's a level playing field... And you're a regular guy and you're dating a hot woman, forget about it. You gotta be a bi man who can pad his stats by sucking cock, or you gotta just be like rich, old, or famous, right? Yeah. Like, I, the only reason I would even consider it is because, like, when you have any kind of like, fo- like, people know you at all, it's like working really hard and having a career where you're well known is the same as being like an eight 
as of any woman. Oh my god! <laughs> like they, and it's even it's still harder. Yeah. But it's like I could. You have sh- to be a global sensation <laughs> <laughs> to, to have it with a to, woman, to not, like a, a nine woman walking around. Like yes, Pete Davidson, right, is living an insane life for right. a man, right. He's living the same life as a nine but in Los are, Angeles. But there are, but there is a waitress at Chili's That's who has fucked Bradley Cooper, or not uh, even, but like at but Nobu. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a, there's yeah, just yeah. a girl in Los Angeles. Yeah. This is what Trump said. Yeah. It's, remember when they got had that audio of Trump and he's like, "You fucked the waitresses." Yeah. I have waitresses <laughs> hotter than any of these fucking. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna miss Trump. Oh, dude. When he dies, what's what's we're sad? gonna miss the like Can I, crazy just unedited. But you know what this is? Because it's like. I don't think he's got the juice. That's what really. Makes no, he's me running sad. out of it. That's why everyone. That's over. what's sad about it now. It's like he's so. He's like so funny. It's like watching uh, like Patrick Billy Ewing. Idol get old. Oh yeah, yeah. Where he's like, yeah, I'm a rebel. And yeah, you're like, yeah, you're yeah, an old yeah. man, dude. No, it feels like it feels like Patrick Ewing on the Raptors. Yeah. Or I'm sorry, the Magic. The yeah, Magic. You're like, oh, you're Hakeem on the Raptors. Still, but you're not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if he loses to Ron DeSantis, <laughs> he really doesn't have the juice anymore. Dude. And obviously, we're just talking about him being funny, not being a good politician. He's a fucking piece of All shit. All politicians but are he, stealing your money. But he is. But he is a fucking piece. You Apathy know. is the only. Except way. Except Bernie Sanders. We're pro Bernie Sanders. Dude, whatever, He's the only man. good one. You trying to get pussy? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Don't come over here with your Dude, fucking all polit all lives stop matter this, politician stop shit. Stop trying, to get, <laughs> stop trying to get furry muff right now by being like, you know, I'll, really, you know who's a real boss bitch? You know who no, I really. No. You know no, I'm, I'm not a Kamala fan. Yeah, you know I'm, I'm not. I'm not with? a Democrat fan. No, I am Dude, a fucking Bernie I'm Sanders you fan. Who, you know who Bernie? You know who fucking Stav really loves everyone? Susan Collins. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking take you down. Like, he likes the one politician that either side doesn't yeah, like. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sh- fu- fuck Joe for uh, intervening in the railroad strike, by the way. And that's Stavi's politics corner. Woo! Let's get- um, but yeah, this girl. Just, just, don't, don't. just or here, do. what you need to know is, yeah, I think what you were saying at first is very possible. You just either you're just not that into your boyfriend anymore. And that might just be it. And this guy, you know, how did you even start? He might just be you're you are getting his best effort right now. Will that continue oh, you're if seeing, you're dating? You're seeing showroom cock yeah, right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you're seeing yeah, the yeah. one that they come and clean first yes, thing in the morning. Yes. So you're keep not that... getting fucking back of the warehouse. I yeah. think we still got it. Right, Kyle. right. Let me check. Let me yeah. check in the back. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Here's a Wednesday night after you guys watch the Netflix show. Yeah. This is a... I don't know. This is weird. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm not good with intimacy. So keep that. I mean, really, it's kind of straightforward. You don't. I really really think you don't let someone like this into your life into this amount in this deep at already if you totally f- love your boyfriend yeah. and maybe you do and maybe you fucked up and this makes you realize you do but the fact that you're even like thinking about polyamory thinking about ways around it take a look do you really do you really want to be in a relationship with your boyfriend if the answer is yes this guy's got to go if the answer is no maybe you give this guy a run but think about him the way you would think about any new relationship um Let's get another one going, L Dunce. Let's do another one. Remember, the number is 904 800 Stop. What a fucking pro. That's when you get a fucking radio pro on the fucking show, man. <laughs> yeah, give him the fucking standing O. Hey, Stavi. Um, so, my question uh, I came to my hometown for Thanksgiving. I live on the West Coast, but I'm from the, the Midwest, St. Louis. Um, and I ended up going on a date with a friend of a friend that just mm. kind of got facilitated randomly. Um, we had a great time, and we ended up uh, hooking up and sleeping mm. together. And um, she's okay. gorgeous, and we seem to really get along and be into each other. But, you know, she lives in my hometown. I live very far Uh-oh. away on the West Coast. She also has a, a, a kid. Um, I don't have any children. I'm, I'm 29. Um, and I just don't know if it's Damn. something that I should uh, kind of pursue, or do I just let it be a, a standalone? <laughs> this this uh, man is living. Good this instinct, man is living through a um, life. Just something random. So, uh, if you could help me out in any ways, and good luck uh, getting school. Thanks, Doc. Of course, what a sweet man. This this man is living through a fucking lifetime Thanksgiving <laughs> movie. Which the, just, ever he, since her husband fell down in yeah. that. <laughs> in that pine tree cutting accident. <laughs> yeah, it's like, those are your options, man. Either live a fucking Lifetime movie and move back to your hometown oh. after a, a single mother teaches you the meaning of love. Oh, man. You slow down 
Uh, this also, by the way, the pussy must have been top notch I mean, for him to even be calling in. Yeah. Oh, this you, woman has a kid and lives in my hometown. <laughs> Should I make it work? Yeah. Imagine. Oh, I gotta go back. I gotta go back to the place I grew up and fight all my old demons. <laughs> plus this half a lady. I, yeah. This, this lady's half product. <laughs> Or the dad, you got to deal with the dad. I would always, as the son of a single mom. Right, you're, this would, is perfect. Give us the child's perspective. I would always say, scout the ex, the baby's daddy. Mm. Because if he's chaotic, you're, he's going to fuck your relationship with this woman up. It's going to, he's going to. His put, kid is probably fucked up. His kid's going to be pinned against you. Yep. You're going to be, that's an, I'm telling you right now, you're going in a, an uphill battle. Right. But if you do have a great connection. If uh, the guck is tremendous. I mean, if the <laughs> guck is. Let's be honest. What connection? I he mean, went on one date and got sucked off once. I so mean, she's got to be throwing it back like you wouldn't got, believe. She's got that Oregon Trail neck. <laughs> she's, gonna you, she's, gonna just, she's sucking you off at a strenuous pace. Yeah. She's going to have you do a reverse Lewis and Clark. <laughs> Here we go back east. <laughs> but you, I mean, dude, 29 is a young stepdad. But it's also, not, you are in that range. It's not that young. You're right. You know? I would. We uh, got comedy brain, dude. Because, yeah. like, I remember, like, the first time I went back and I visited my brother, like, a couple years ago. And in my head, you know, it's all comedy. All yeah. our friends, we stay out forever. Everyone fucking, you have friends that are 20. You have friends that are 50. You, have, mm -hmm. you know? So it's like. And then you go back, and I look at my little brother, and it's like, all his friends were married, he's engaged, he's running a business. I'm like, oh, this is what I should be doing. Yeah. So it's not that he's that off here, but it is a matter of like, yeah, do you want to hold on to your youth a little longer? Because you're in that range where you you're, could a little bit, or do you want to make it work with this woman? And it's like... But it's also Midwest, he's on the West Coast. I was on the West Coast from the Midwest and ended up going on a date. Yeah. It, you're not that far. There's you're not like East Coast, West Coast. It's Midwest. And it's your hometown, which is like it gives you an excuse to visit if you want to. I would say. Having said that, go ahead. I, my, my thing is see where it goes. Keep talking to her. Put it as a maybe. Yeah. 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 But at the same time, you can't let it drag forever because you also don't want uh, uh, you don't want to like just kind of lead this woman on who's yeah. trying to get her. She's Dude. unless she's not. Maybe she just. She's like, hey, I'm a single mom, but I right want now, some dick on the side. Most single moms. I remember DeVito was telling me, like, he just never, he just never, like, knew, like, if his mom was ever hooking up. Because she just kept it discreet. I mean, dude. And it's like, that, I wish. maybe that. <laughs> <laughs> I maybe wish. that's what this guy, maybe this mom just wants to get her pussy knocked loose every couple, every couple weeks. You know, maybe she takes a trip that over to you. That could be a thing where, you know, her sister watches the kid. She comes out to the West Coast. Yeah, she lets her hair down, wears a bikini. Fucking yeah, yeah, yeah. she pretends. got some pictures that her son finds in seven years that makes her <laughs> resent her. <laughs> Normal stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her Normal happiness, stuff. her happiness yeah. photo album that you're not in. So I would say <laughs> go to a stepdad combine, but it's yeah. not the draft yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> They're going to see your skills. And here's the thing. My my uh, knee-jerk reaction is, no, this is fucking insane. Like, honestly, if it were me, and it's like... The, if, but also, I'm more afraid of intimacy than this guy, it sounds like. I mean, this But if there was a girl at 32 who had a kid... I'm 32. I go back home to Baltimore. I hook up with a girl. She's gorgeous. She has a kid. I'm just like, I can't. Personally, I can't. But if you're ready... Who knows? I wonder if this guy, it's like, you know, okay, put in some years in the West Coast, it went all right, but just missing St. Louis. That happens. Missing the creature comfort. cash and get a nice place in, in the Midwest. Yeah. yeah. Happens try, a lot maybe, in New York. People I would do say their, it's maybe. I'd people say, do their decade in New York and then move back home. Yeah, pussies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So that's those are your two paths, buddy. Hold on. Cling on to your youth and give it a run or build a new life in the West Coast. Or if you're feeling like... If home is calling you back like Eldis is saying, here's your option. So I wouldn't do it, but I'm afraid of intimacy and I'm working on yeah, it. Yeah, me too. Yeah. Look at us. <laughs> but trying to break through. Yeah, you're breaking through, buddy. I'm, I'm proud through. of you. I got to get out of here. I All right, no sweat. No sweat. Um, 
That's gonna fucking do it, folks. Sorry, we didn't do enough questions. That me and we we got. We'll come back. Well, Danny's gonna be back, and also we had such a good time. Just fucking, yeah. just fucking. Dude, I could have ran a two it. hour right now. We could. I think we basically did. Um, yeah. So uh, thank you so much for coming, Dan. I, I appreciate you, it. Anything you want these motherfuckers to hear about? To see dancesorder dot com. Uh, see the boy the live. He's so fucking funny. Hitting the road hard starting February of twenty twenty three. Love it. This will probably come out. Either late December or January. Perfect. So dansoder.com. Make sure you go there for live shows. And if you have HBO Max, stream Son of a Gary. Incredible special. One of the best comedians in the fucking world. I love this guy. You you probably already do, but if you don't, go check all this shit out. Thank you guys so much. Call 904-800-STAV. We'll get to your questions again next week. We love you guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.